It's five in the morning in a favela in the outskirts of Rio. Ten-year-old Thais is getting ready to go to the hospital. Her kidney gave up on her two years ago, and since then, her family has been waiting for the hospital to find a solution. I feel terrible. I would like my granddaughter's problems to go away, because there are a lot of things she'd like to do, but she can't. Three times a week, Thais and her grandmother brave the day-long journey for renal replacement therapy in the city's hospitals. They're hoping to get Thais on the waiting list for a transplant, but she will first need to go through a series of other operations. The hospitals have been sending her back and forth without assigning a doctor to her case. Her father, who has filed a complaint, is desperate. The doctors have all the power. And as for us, what can we do? Will she be all right or not? We don't know. Is there a solution or not? When I go to the hospital, they tell me, we'll call you, and then nothing. I'm asking God for a miracle, because the doctors aren't doing anything. Thai's family is not alone. Three out of four households in Brazil can't afford private insurance and depend on a public system known for its inefficiency. How long do we have to suffer for medical care in our country? They have no respect for us. Hospitals are understaffed and underfunded, the paperwork is long and the waiting rooms are full. Enough to push hundreds of thousands of Brazilians out onto the street last June, when the country saw its first mass protests in 25 years. But Thais remains cheerful. What's your dream? To get a transplant. Why? So I can do more things, like ride a bike and run, do whatever I want. Thais hasn't given up hope of being like other kids. The hospitals responsible for her case have refused to comment. <laughs>